Hey girl, hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and go ahead and share if you guys want to see how I got this five minute eyeshadow look. No, I ain't working saying press, baby. We are not the same. You be stacking just a flex. Had to get it on my own, so I'm mapping out the quest, and I ain't never laying up. I'm stomping dead on bitches neck. Welcome back, my unique babies. So today's look is a smoky reddish brown look. And I'm going to go in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm just going to be putting this all over my lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean up under my brows to give me a nice shape. Then I'm going to go in with my uh, Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to pat that in to give me a very clean, solid base. So we can start with applying those shadows. So I know this is something new, but I wanted to try to do this quick five minute look with you guys. Eyeshadow only. So I am going to be doing all of my contour and highlighting foundation, all of that lips off camera. All right, so now that I have a clean base, I'm going to go ahead and apply a piece of tape because I want this eyeshadow to have a very clean cut. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is called coconut and this is from my makeup revolution tammy palette and this is her tropical twilight palette so right now i'm just placing this along my waterline almost like i'm giving myself a wing liner with the shade and then i'm going to go ahead and fluff it out and blend it out So now that that is all blended, I'm going to go in with the shade Horizon, which is where I'm getting that reddish color from. And this shade is like a dark brownie type red, almost like a plum, maybe a maroon shade. So that's what's giving us this like cranberry look. And I did end up going ahead and changing brushes. That way I can buff it out because I felt like that first brush it helped me pack the color on but it was like kind of difficult to blend it out so I did go in with a different brush with the same shade though and you can see I'm just building up that color and blending it out all right y'all don't mind my scars I did pick my pimple y'all it's a bad habit of mine so next we're gonna go in with the shade sunrise and that is what I'm going to blend out that reddish shade um yeah it'll all fall into place y'all it does look like i'm packing on a lot of that orange but when i tell you that if y'all see the other side it looks almost like the perfect sunset like it's so pretty so y'all can see i'm just buffing out that orange shade and you can see i'm just blending away because i want that to look really like i want that transition to look so gradient and like subtle and as you see i kind of added some more of that orange shade into my other side because i felt like i lost that a little bit all right so now i'm going in with the shade glow right underneath my brow line just to tie the whole look in and really give me that tequila sunrise look that i was going for guys then I'm going to go in with my Nika K black eyeliner pencil. And I'm just going to give myself a wing liner. And I'm also going to go into my other Tammy palette. And that palette doesn't have names for the shades. But I go in with the black and I just smudge out that liner. And kind of give it that smoky look, I guess you guys can say. But as you guys know, I'm not a professional practice makes perfect i'm literally just doing makeup because it's fun to me and i want to share my experiences with you guys so then i'm going to go on my bottom waterline i'm actually going to take that same nika k pencil and smudge that out with the brush and the tammy black as well now i did end up going in with a nika k liquid liner which i'm actually not a fan of I like their pencils, but their liquid liner just does not dry down fast enough, and it's so runny. Um, 
but when you guys see me go in with that black i'm actually going to smudge it out with the black and the brown that i originally used when i it's like my first shade that i used and i want to say that was the coconut from the revolution palette and then yeah so i'm just like really blending it out to my liking And here I'm going in with that black and brown mixture so it doesn't look so raccoonish. And here is the final look. I did my foundation and highlighting and lips off camera because this is supposed to be a quick five minute eyeshadow video. Hope you guys like this. See you next time. Bye.